Mm -hmm. A woman's picking an outfit though, like how can she determine what's modest? Like, is this too short? Is this too tight? Is this too low? Like, you know, has Pope Francis issued an encyclical yet telling me how many inches this? Like, how's a woman uh, to discern what's modest? Yeah. Oh, Jason, with our background in Catholic answers and everything, all the questions we got about modesty back then, it just it makes me laugh about all the things we went through because mm -hmm. we got these all the time. We got these all the time. Um, yes. OK, so there is something in God has has built us. OK, let's just let me talk to women here just for a quick second. Men, too. Men have the same thing. But let me just speak from a woman's perspective. We all have this innate sense of modesty. OK, we know what should be covered. OK, because there are some parts of us that have a sexual value attached to them. Makes perfect sense. OK, it does. There's no sexual value attached to my ankle. That's why if I my ankles exposed and hanging out like we're good. <laughs> we're good, guys. All right. So there are there's sexual value attached to certain parts of our body. For women, we have a couple extra parts than men. All right. So that makes sense for how God made us to be. So the bare minimum here is how do we dress in a way that one obviously veils the parts of us that have sexual value, but also more than that, it's not just that. It's how do I dress in a way that brings attention to the whole person of me versus a part of me? It's very obvious. I, I just had a baby uh, uh, eight weeks ago. And so I have a couple different wardrobes now of like you know, clothes that have different sizes. And if I put on my my clothing that I had, you know, like a year or two after I have a baby, if I put that on right now, I'll tell you something. I'll tell you something. That would be a sight. All right. There, it would um, it would accentuate parts of me. That's it. That's the end of the sentence. It would accentuate certain par parts of me that'd be like, oh, OK. So I see you have that. Um, <laughs> I see that this is a part of you. Um, and it, it's not very appealing. Like my eyes and my focus go immediately in the mirror when I'm looking at myself to one or two parts of me. So I then find something that fits to where I, when I look in the mirror, I immediately see kind of all of me, like your eyes will kind of focus on the whole, on the whole outfit and not just that one part. You're, you will naturally have this a part of you whenever you look at yourself. That is something internally that you can just use and play and to get into a good um, practice, just start looking at yourself in the mirror when you get dressed and not just what you see on the hanger or what you think would look good because somebody else wears it. But when you put it on, do you feel confident in it? Not confident and I'm gonna take on the world. I mean, do you feel confident as 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 a daughter of God, a daughter of the king? Seriously, do you, do you, do you, does that, when you look at yourself, do you see the whole person in there? And that really will speak to you. Um, there's, for me, I'm five nine, so I'm tall. And there's, for, for length, there are some links that just are a no go for me, especially with kids. Um, so you'll, each person's gonna have a little bit, a little bit different um, uh, measurement, so to speak, with that because of just we're all built a little bit differently. I can wear some tops that my mother cannot because we don't have the same upper body. All right. It's just different proportions. And so you ha we have to keep this in mind. Women are beautiful. When God made us, he, he, okay, God made Adam like this. Wonderful Adam. Good. And then he made Eve and Eve is this. And so we have this beautiful hourglass figure no matter what the sizes of the pieces are, but it's there and it's beautiful. And so there is going to be a different measurement of like what's going to work with one woman does not work with another. So keep that in mind too, because just because you see somebody else wearing it and they're, they, um, it looks modest on them does not mean it's going to fit us and our body types. And that's okay. So I think overall, the best thing I can, I can give you is to make sure that when you're looking in the mirror, that you're not seeing something that really focuses on one part of you. If it's something is, is really too tight or obviously revealing. And obviously when you move, it might look good if you're standing still and you don't do any movement, but then when you move, some things can shift and change and it, it doesn't work anymore. Yeah. And usually I find if a girl's asking, is this too tight? Is this too low? Is this, she's pretty much already answered her question because if it truly were modest, she wouldn't be asking the question to begin with. And I, I right. think with modesty too, is a lot of guys are under the assumption that women dress the way they do for the guys. When in reality, you know, sorry to break the news of the guys. Most of the girls are not dressing with you in mind. I'm sorry to burst your bubble, <laughs> but if anything, the girl's dressing that way for herself or for the other girls. 
It's more mm. sometimes of a fashion competition of keeping up with what you're supposed to look like than, oh, I'm going to wear this outfit so I can seduce boys. I mean, maybe for some girls are thinking that, but I think the vast majority, it's not even on the radar. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed that little clip, but if you want to see the whole episode where this came from, just click the link here. And in the meantime, we want to invite you to help us share this message, and there's a couple things you can do real quick. Number one, if you like or comment or share this video, YouTube will actually show it to more people. Also, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell. We release videos every single day, and you'll be notified as soon as those come out. If you want to help us also to spread this message, you can support us at Patreon dot com slash Jason Everett that helps us to create these videos and show them to the whole world. God bless.